Hey, 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 what's up, guys? I'm Dan H, and today on the project, we are gonna take a ride and we're gonna get some ZJ parts. Uh, right now, we're in the new ZJ, and uh, new, 21 year old 1998 ZJ with a straight six. But we are in it, and I'm just trying to survey this situation here to figure out what I need. Um, I found a parts car. Uh, the donor car is a 5.2 Magnum ZJ, and uh, it was in a front-end collision. So I'm gonna try to see if I can take a lot of stuff from it. Um, I think this is pretty good as a whole on the interior. I don't need too many things. I definitely need a rear hatch, a rear lift gate piece of interior. It's not so bad in here. Yeah, let's take a look at the outside. So right here is the worst of it. This headlight assembly is pretty messed up and the bumper is pretty jacked up. The other ZJ we're gonna look at was also in a front end accident. So uh, I think he bought a bumper and we're gonna try to use his aftermarket bumper. And I don't know about this. I think uh, we'll get this on eBay. They're not too expensive. So, yeah, that's about it. Other than that, this thing's not too bad. So, we're going to jump in the Explorer and go get some parts. All right, so we're on our way up to St. James, New York, and we are in the Explorer. Now this thing is leased, it still has a couple thousand miles left to go and another month or so before we return it, so I gotta drive the crap out of this thing. Uh, we are also in it because this thing has a ton of room back there. When all the car seats are out and you could fold down these seats, you could fit lots of stuff in it. Hopefully we're gonna fit a lot of ZJ parts in it, so uh, when we return, this thing better be packed out and uh, we'll check in when we get there. Oh my goodness, where am I? Hey, you guys seen a ZJ around here? Okay, thanks. <laughs> I might be lost. Oh, thank God, a 1999 Jeep XJ, chili pepper red. Whew, we're saved. So we found Rob. What's up, Rob? <laughs> and we found the parts Hello, ZJ. Yeah, baby. Yahoo. <laughs> it's, toxic. <laughs> it's toxic. Hold your breath. Hey, man. Anything could be wiped down, right? A little bleach, a little water. Actually, bleach doesn't kill mold. It just wipes it away. Really? Ammonia or um, it's maple mold killer. Mold killer? Just buy mold killer. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> I'm gonna invest in a bunch. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start pulling some parts. All right, it's not so bad, man. Just climb through the mold, struggle. Right <laughs> oh shit! I, I don't know. <laughs> that's what we do when we love jeeps. It's so This hatch has the classic Jeep get stuck hatch. I had to climb through a pile of this junk, open up the molding a little bit, and uh, reach down in there, grab the lever, and pull it up myself. It is possible to do it, you just need some patience. And it paid off because this is in good condition.
<laughs> oh no, that's free. You're it's good. Free. It's free. Yeah. yeah. Come on, baby. Good thing it's just warm enough today. You probably yeah. would have cracked this last week. <laughs> right? It was so cold. Ho ho ho! We did it! We did it, Rob! Sweet. Patience, Pedro. <laughs> hey, I got it. So uh, you can see the seat now, uh, it's kind of rough, but it's not as bad as I remember it actually, but yeah. with the mold on it, I really don't think you want <laughs> How much did you want for the rims again? I forgot. <laughs> um, I was saying 75 on the rims, 75 on the bumper. So 150? Why don't you just give me like 140 for everything? Okay. 140. Right, cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. All right. I find it interesting how they're limited without leather. I mean, with leather. I mean, a Laredo with leather. Right. It's, it's an like. option for leather. It's a weird uh, hybrid. <laughs> So cool, <laughs> man. Fantastic. Right, Rob, man. pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. 140, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right, man. Enjoy it. Yeah. All right, guys. We are on the road back to civilization. Man, that place was a trip. Literally. But uh, I would say our first ZJ parts run was a complete success. We got most of the things we needed. Uh, we scored with the interior hatch trim. It was in pretty good condition. Um, we got a brand new aftermarket front bumper. It can't beat brand new. And uh, we even scored a set of limited rims. So uh, I'm super stoked on that. Uh, thank you very much, Rob. If you are watching, you are the man. And uh, we got exactly what we wanted. We got an Explorer full of ZJ parts. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project.